It's Halloween 2020, and I'm your host, Chris Hutchinson. Join me on my channel as we celebrate Halloween 2020 for the month of October. As we cast some spells, find a trick or treat or two, or even make a little scary costume. Make sure you're subscribing to my YouTube channel. Also, share with your friends. Make sure you're liking each video. Comment down below what you like to see. And I'm your host, Chris Hutchinson. And welcome to Halloween 2020. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I am Chris Hutchison and we have a fun Halloween DIY for you today. Um, we're going to be taking skeletons, little baby skeletons that I got from the Dollar Tree and, at and attaching butterfly wings to them to make them skeleton fairies. So this is going to be a fun DIY. All the products you see here will either came from the Dollar Tree or the Goodwill. So this is a cheap and affordable DIY project. So here's a very, very extra skeleton fairy DIY project with Chris Hutchison. Here we go. Watermelon sugar, hi. So we're gonna set my baby skeletons free. You can find these skeletons at the Dollar Tree in the Halloween section. Also, you're gonna need butterfly wings that you can find in the craft section at the Dollar Tree. Next, you wanna take a stand that you can find at the Goodwill section that we're gonna glue to the um, fairy. I wanted stands or little sceneries for each of my fairies. I found this cool metal chair at the Goodwill store and my first thought was who would buy a metal chair for a candle for their house. Next you're going to take green moss that you find at the Dollar Tree in the craft section. I've been really impressed with the craft section at the Dollar Tree lately. Next year, you're also going to take some brown moss that you find at the Dollar Tree and we're going to make a cushion for the chair. I wanted to make this chair look like it's been in the woods for some time. Also you want to get some florals because we're going to add some flowers to this. Not a lot though. Luckily you can find florals at Goodwill, Michaels or um, Hobby Lobby. Luckily I'll be using the flowers that I got from Michaels in my $5 grab video. Luckily I'll be using them up in this video. And I'm just going to spread out the flowers to make it look like these were random flowers growing on the tree. Make sure you have strong scissors for this part because some of the stems can be really hard to cut depending on which flower or bouquet set you get. Up next, I'm going to be doing this cool bird nest that I found at the Goodwill. 
I thought it'd be really cool to use this bird nest for one of my baby fairies. So I got my f skeleton, put blew his wings on the back of him to make it look like he's coming out of his home. I thought this would be a really cool idea to have a fairy coming out of a bird nest. Kind of looks like it's its own home in the woods somewhere. Then I'm going to take some green moss from the Dollar Tree and glue it to the bottom of his entryway to his home. I've been really impressed with what I've been finding at the Dollar Tree lately. Then I'm going to mix some white paint and some black paint to make a light gray to give it that cool birch color onto the bird nest because I love birch wood and I thought it would look really cool to have a birch nest. So I did a light painting around each branch. I still wanted some of the old wood showing through. That way it has different textures and different colors onto the bird nest. Now I'm going to add some lavender flowers around the bird nest to give it some cool flowery look to it. I thought each fairy should have their own special flower to it. Oh. That hot glue was painfully hot. I burned myself really badly. But be careful when using hot glue guns for projects. But that's one of my favorite types of glue to use. Next I found this cool wooden box at the Goodwill for one of my baby fairies. I glued the skeleton down and glued his wings to the back of him. I thought this would be a really cool piece to have hanging on the wall, so I decided to put the moss around the fairy and also have the brown moss going up the box as well to make it a cool scenery look. I figured I can put this on the wall and add some flowers to it to give him that cool fairy look effect to it. This turned out really cool and one of my favorite pieces. I also wanted a magical garden on top of the box as well. So you're gonna see me glue flowers to the top of the box and all over the place as well. And I figured this turned out really cool because it looks like this is where a fairy would wanna hang out or be. I 
I found this really cool merry-go-round horse and I spray painted it black as you saw. Now I'm going to take my fairy and glue him to the horse to make it look like he's riding it. But instead of making it a merry-go-round horse, I want him to be actually riding the horse. So I glued the pole inside of him. And this was really tricky because I had to get him in position, as you see. And then I'm going to take then I'm going to take some cotton balls and make smoke going around it. It looks like the fairy is riding through smoke. This was very interesting and very creative. Next, I found this cool branchy tree thing from the Goodwill, and I figured I could remove the plants and painted it a white birch color using the paint that I mixed up earlier. And I thought this turned out really cool looking. So I have my fairy just perch on one of the branches and then do a cool garden scene around it. I had to admit this one took a little longer because I had to do multiple coats of paint on this to get it to the right texture and everything. Now I'm going to take my baby fairy and position to him where I want to put him onto the tree and glue him standing up on there. And then I'm going to take his wings and glue his wings to the back of him, as you see right here.
This next one is the biggest one that I did in this whole video. I found this cool six piece candle holder at the Goodwill and I thought what a great way to put three fairies on them. So I took my dark moss and glued them to the inside of the containers. And then I started gluing my fairies and positioning them onto the candle holder, as you see right here. And then I'm gonna cover the whole thing in moss and then we're gonna go from there. I gotta admit, this film for this video has been one of the longest films that I have done in a long time just because of my work schedule and the amount of time for each individual piece that had to be made. And then I kind of stopped what I was doing and cut short of this video. And I have more in the future that I will be making of these. But I figured this was a good amount of time for this video. So next I found this cool glass and I thought it would be really cool to put a big fairy inside the glass. I put a big leaf flower inside the glass and I'm going to glue it inside there. I'm going to glue the wings to the back of my fairy and then I'm going to cover the outside of the glass with the moss kind of growing up the glass. This one turned out to be really cool and really unique and different.
And this is how my final products turn out. These look so beautiful and so amazing. And yes, they were time consuming, but they turned out so cool in the end and so worth it. These are something that you cannot find in stores, but I feel like it's something that everyone should have in their house home because they're so beautiful and so different for Halloween. So that's our finished product for this video. I just loved how each and one of these turn out. This, to be honest with you guys, was a lengthy video to film. I kind of took a couple of weeks off to take a break from filming and then come back and finish this video. That way I can still be on track with my normal schedule. Um, I'm really happy if you guys made it this far, and I hope you guys enjoyed every single one of these Skeleton Fairy DIYs that we made. I absolutely love this idea and will be making more in the future. This is such a great and fun and creative um, project for any ages. Also, starting next week is Thanksgiving. We'll be in our Thanksgiving season, and for the month of Thanksgiving, I will be doing all cooking videos. So if you like my cooking videos, you're going to be prepared with great Thanksgiving food recipes from all kinds of dishes. So I'm Chris Hutchison. Make sure you're liking each video. Make sure you're subscribing to my channel. It's free. And also, I'm back every Friday at 9 a.m. at Pacific Northwest Time. I'm Chris Hutchison. Till next time.